Welcome to another podcast of the current situation Manchester United. Manchester United beat Brighton on penalties in the FA Cup semi-finals. So we are through yet to another final, at least domestically, in England. Remember that we won the Capital One Cup, which is not much to brag about, isn't it? But we won it. I know we're in the FA Cup finals, so we're going to see who we're going to get in the finals. I'm guessing it's Man City, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, I didn't watch the match, none at all. I did not watch the match. So this is not going to be a, a runover commentary on what happened in them 20, 120 minutes. But judging of, of our... Um, oh, this is not going to miss me. Of course, most of you guys are up on it, but I didn't do a video on it because, you know, I came, number one, I didn't know that we were even playing on Thursday, last week, Thursday against Seville, which I should have known. And when we played at Old Trafford, I knew that we would play them next week, but I just didn't remember last week, Thursday. And even when I caught up on this score in my notifications, which I did, I saw that like at night, is because I was doing like an 11 hour shift on Thursday, so I came back at night. So hell, I couldn't even do a video, a match reaction video. But I'm a voice, I'm going to say this, and I want to do this like under 10 minutes. Because we, we just drew, at least in terms of the score, but we went through to the final. There was no goal scored in this game. What did I say when we went to Seville? And, and this is a, a quick run over. I said that, I'm not trustworthy of when we go to Spain to go play again against Seville. You see I me? Mean? Because the way they play their football, it's like it's like a, a, an inferiority complex that we naturally have against them. It's like we we have a mental blockage when we're playing against them, especially in the Euro League. You see I me? Mean? So I wasn't literal I literally was not surprised when they beat us. Then we post like three 0 I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised that we didn't get any goals. But this is my main point, and I want to be finished by like 10, 5, 10 minutes. We need a world class, at least a very good striker in the summer. Look, man, look. We have been saying that Marcel is supposed to be leading the line since since 2019, after he got them 23 goals in the 2019-2020 season, when COVID came about. But Marcel is 26, man. Marcel... I wouldn't. I would mind keeping Marcel as a backup, but Marcel, in in my opinion, should not be starting, given his his injury record and etc. He should not be a starter. Yes, this may sound contradictory, but you could say he's like one of the the typical strikers that would suit everything on system. Is me dropping deep, allowing the wingers to bump forward, especially Rashford, who is the further furthest of the of the of the players because he's a main forward he's our main goal scorer so when marcel drops back he's giving space for rashford to bomb inside on the left hand side is me that's the mo of marcia and marcel can get his goals anyway but with inconsistent and this is not just on marcia let me just make this clear i'm not a hate of marcial but i've still said something that's essential and what is essential is that we need a striker that is not prone to scoring goals. We can be heavily reliant on Rashford to be getting all the goals. We can be heavily reliant, reliant on Bruno to be, getting, to be getting goals. We can be heavily reliant on Martial to be getting goals. We need another certified striker in the summer that is proven to be a goal scorer. This is me. Because right now, man, the season's catching up with us and seeing that we lost against Seville and we drew, well, we didn't drew because we went to the finals. But there was no goal scoring in this game. I Again, I didn't watch the game at the Brighton, but hell, I didn't need to know the game. I didn't need to watch the game to know so no goals were scored. Which meant that I'm pretty sure that we had our chances to put to bed, but they were not put to bed. Just me. We need a striker in the summer. Um... Yeah, man, and, and, and another thing is, and another thing is that we this this squad needs to be proved. It needs to be certain players need to leave. I know this is like a a a, a pre 
so much transfer window video saying who needs to be sealed. I'm not going to say who needs to be sealed. We all know who and who needs to go already or who and who needs to stay already or who is on the, the fringes. Like, you know, go either way. Some on the fence, on this, on this side, on this side. But yeah, we are in the final of the FA Cup, which is a good thing. This is not a, this is not a rant or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. There was a reason why we got trash, man, against the Villa at, at, at their home. So we going to the final should not supersede that. Should not cloud that. Should not, you know, put a band-aid over it. That was a heavy, heavy, a, a, a heavy damage. And persons are seeing that David De Gea is not the David De Gea of four or five years ago. Persons are now coming to the conclusion that, well, you know, it took them a while. But Herr Maguire, man, why you go buy this fridge for $80 million or £80 million? Pounds? This brethren is static. He's even slower than a turning tank. He's not the typical defender that Manchester United yearns for. He doesn't exude confidence. This bridging is a walking uh is a walking joke, man. I'm pretty sure most of you guys see the video, man. There was this um I can't remember uh uh this this African brethren. He was saying um the, he was talking about time ago. I'm pretty sure you guys I I can't voice. I, I'm not so good with words, but I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. Dude, this is going viral. You don't even have to watch football to know Sir Maguire is a joke. You don't have to know. This brethren is a joke, man. He's a joke. So there, no, no way he can be second captain to Bruno or captain for the club, period. We are far from grace, man. Days when we had Vidic and, and Evan and, and Ferdinand. And, 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 and definitely Gary Neville as, 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 as captain, man. Is me. Now we have this brethren as our club captain. What? How he can go from way up to down here so in the toilet? Why? He should go, man. And yes, I just said that. I'm not going to say names. That that, that needs to live in the summer. But that's a donor. If that, Ray Charles can see that, man. He needs to go. He needs to go. This is not the person that should be leading us. Even when he's not starting as much. Well, he should be starting. <clears throat> he should be starting anyway. But seeing the amount of money that he's getting per week and the amount of money that was signed to get him here, you can't put this bridge on the bench because you go look stupid. You're the one that gave, you know, Leicester City 80, 80, 80 million bucks, man. So you go put this bridge on the bench, on the bench when you go sign this bridge in four year, almost four years ago. So that goes to show that we have to have a business sense as well. Because, yeah, the, the Glazers are if if you and whether they want to sell Manchester United, they ain't all, oh, they, they are not over the top in making the decision to sell, but they are entertaining it. And I tell you what, and I'm finishing right here, so. I'm, I appreciate the, the, the effort and improvement, everything I guys made with the squad. And I'll, 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 um, also give players credit as well but this squad man certain players need to leave not for their own not only for them own good but for manchester united's good man yes we won a trophy yes we you know uh we're like into our third place right now which is a good thing but again that is on paper let's look on what's on the pitch we need goal scorers we need goal scorers we really need goal scorers Rashford is a goal scorer. Yes, Marcel is a goal scorer. Rash, uh, uh, Sandro can put in goals. Anthony can score a whip in a, in a, in a, in a, in a while. You know, he, he's not immune to scoring goals. He can score goals. Excuse me. But we need an elite number nine up top, man. That is not as injury prone as Martial. But he knows how to score goals. Maybe he may, may, maybe he may not be the typical number nine that is suited to everything like system, but this Bridget knows goals. He was born on a football pitch. He knows goals. He, he probably was born, you know, in the penalty box or so. Even if he's a poacher alone, we need a lily goal scorer in the summer. We can't continue with just being heavily reliant on Rashford and Martial. This is me. We lost our goal scorer. We're on a Chris Ronaldo who scored the majority of our goals for almost two years in a row. Since 2021, then to 2022. 
so that's what I wanted to say, man. I just wanted to get that off my chest, excuse me. But yes, we're into the finals of the FA Cup. Hopefully, we're going to win this trophy. Um, I believe we're going to be playing against Man City. So we'll see what happens. So that's my video for today. I'll show you guys later.